For any school child, art class is as much a rite of passage as recess and pop quizzes. And while it may seem like art is the fun and playful class, there's also a lot of learning going on, especially inside one particular classroom at Columbus Academy. Art by its nature is creative. Creation or creating or being self-expressive is very important. Uh, especially here at Academy. The moment you see Mr. C in action, his passion for art is clear. It's also infectious. The projects in Lloyd Sassetti's lower school classroom run the gamut. From hands-on painting and sculpting to virtual and 3D creation, the kids explore it all. And while they're studying and emulating the great artists in history, they're also learning about themselves. Self-esteem is another reason why art is so important, because if I can get kids to uh, produce or to get involved in a process of art and feel good about that and feel proud of those things that they create. That self-esteem carries over into math, into reading, into science. So it really helps the academics. As with most subjects, technology has found its way into the art room. Using an art education grant, Mr. C was able to get 20 iPads for his classroom. That's when I started drawing and painting with our fingers on an iPad. And that was a lot of fun. But the kids soon wanted more. They liked it for a while, but the fact that they couldn't immediately print it in color left them a little bit disappointed. And they almost rather draw with markers or oil pastels or regular pastels uh, at paint than using an iPad. So it wasn't sensory enough for them. Then came a new inspiration, 3D printing. So my son Robert, who builds 3D printers, said, Dad, you really should think about as an art teacher moving into that area of 3D printing because there's a lot of great apps for kids that they could model images on a flat screen but spin them around vertically, horizontally, and create sculpture which then can be printed out on a 3D printer. Columbus Academy is also very proud of its Masterworks program. Each year, Mr. C selects six master artists to be featured, one for each grade level. We'll use, for instance, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. She was famous for her flower paintings. So each child in kindergarten is asked with a canvas to paint just one flower. They would just create miniature works of art then that flower would be put in a mosaic of 16 to 20 flowers on a canvas, and the, the results are really quite wonderful. The individual works are featured in a special catalog. The mosaics are put in a special exhibition for the entire school to see. Then the pieces are raffled off. Parents can also make their children feel special when they bring their works of art home. I say first you praise their work every time it comes home. No criticism, obviously try to put it in a formal or an informal place. If it's just the refrigerator, if that's as far as you go, that's telling the child that's valuable. And for those who think art class isn't an important component to the child's overall education, consider this. Colleges right now are requesting that they get graduates that are innovative, creative, not necessarily have a lot of knowledge, facts and figures but risk takers. So art's a place where they can be, uh, create their own unique version of a subject. And it t it's challenging. Now to learn more about Columbus Academy, just head to their website, columbusacademy.org, or you can schedule a visit by calling their admissions office, 614-509-2220.